hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll provide you the preset black and orange so this one is a trendy preset and trendy color like uh, black and orange so i'll provide you today and how to make it out let's see and how to uh, add in your photographs different types of photographs like cityscape portrait or outdoor and indoor like gym type so Let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I downloaded some stock image. I'll provide you that stock image link in my video description. So here is my images. This one is a cityscape and I'll add that preset in these photographs. So how to add that? Let's see. Press Ctrl or Command J and go to the filter camera filter after going to the camera filter load setting option one thing is that camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of the camera filter please check out my video description and good news is that if you are the user of the creative cloud version you are getting this camera filter by default this one is a plugins of the creative cloud and here is load settings options black and orange and open it up so in this image i need to adjust this one just because of all the photos are not same and lights are not same so if you need to adjust that things you can adjust that so how to adjust that here is the options you can adjust these things okay here is the hue options you can adjust the hue and other stuffs yeah that's fine and here the clarity and other stuffs you have to adjust in your photographs according to your photographs yeah that's fine before one was like that and after one you're getting like these black and red type effects and hit okay yeah you are getting like that another photo okay. here is a stock image open it up this one is a green type but i want to apply this one black and orange press ctrl or command j and filter camera filter from here i'll open up the load settings options and black and orange load it up so you're getting this one like that and what i applied in this photo and what is the settings let's get discussion here the temperature minus 4 tint plus 39 and exposure plus 28 contrast 17 highlights 100 shadow plus 100 and blacks 0 and vibrance that is 58 minus 58 and the saturation minus 58 here the tone curve i made it like that only rgb tone curve no other tone curve used over here so here the amount of sharpening 50 radius 1 and detail 25 luminance 67 luminance detail 50 and here the rare hue this one is the hsl panel you know hue saturation luminant and uh, hue is the color which color you want to give in your photographs saturation is the percentage of color and the luminance uh, that is the intensity of the color here the red color plus 57 that is the hue orange minus 7 and the blue plus 13 saturation i made the down the saturation blue just because of here in a t-shirt or shirt was blue yellow 24 79 for the orange and red plus 7 and luminance that is plus 97 that is the intensity of the color that means red intensity if you increase that it will be more polish or red will be prominent and the orange 43 and yellow 8 and one thing is that if you dehaze the, the vibrance and the saturation it will be in a black and white mode and if you increase the intensity or luminance of the red it will be like that so you are getting the black and red combination in your photographs split toning to 70 for the highlight color and shadow 2 to 1 for the shadow color split toning is that things shadow and highlighting which color will be in the shadow and which color will be in the highlight so that defined with the split toning 
that's why I just made the value like that and here the vignetting little bit vignetting minus 8 close crop vignetting that's thing camera calibration most important thing here red primary color plus 100 saturation 34 and green primary plus 1 saturation 36 blue primary minus 100 and the saturation minus 48 and you are getting these things hit the ok button yeah you're getting and black and red actually it give you another you know, like artistic look in your photographs that's why i made it for you guys i'll provide you these things in my video description please check out my video description for the preset download link and uh, the other stuffs stocks images and the plugins which you know, is the camera filter if you have that that camera filter you don't have to download that but uh, cs version uh, those who are the using the photoshop cs6 or other stuff they have to download the camera filter video description for these plugins hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video i am a 7 is signing out today bye bye